which nerve fiber would have its cell body in the lateral horn of the spinal cord at segmental level T1. The cell bodies in the lateral horn of the spinal cord are related to preganglionic sympathetic fibers. This lateral horn of the spinal cord is a feature of spinal cord segments T1 to L2, which represent the sympathetic outflow from the central nervous system. So let's see here the options. Afferent fiber from cutaneous blood vessels of the forehead. Afferent fibers are sensory fibers and they are not related to the lateral horn as I have just mentioned. Now, the lateral horn is related to sympathetic fibers. Afferent fiber from skin around the nipple, again, it is not related because these are sensory fibers and they have their cell bodies located in the dorsal root ganglion, which has pseudo unipolar cells. Option C, efferent fibers to sweat glands in the lumbar region. Actually, sweat glands are supplied by pseudomotor fibers, which are sympathetic fibers. But here in the lumbar region, the origin of these sympathetic fibers is derived from lower thoracic segments of the spinal cord. And it is not from T1 level segment of the spinal cord. Efferent fibers to the skin of the cheek. Now this option is correct because the skin is supplied by pilomotor, pseudomotor, and vasomotor fibers, sympathetic fibers. And in the cheek, in the head and neck in general, these fibers are derived from the upper four thoracic spinal cord segments. The preganglionic fibers that are derived from the spinal cord and the upper thoracic segments, they reach the sympathetic trunk and they ascend into the sympathetic trunk into the cervical region where they are going to synapse in the three of the cervical ganglia and then they are distributed to the region of the head and neck. So the skin of the cheek receives sympathetic fibers that have originated from segmental level T1 of the spinal cord. There is no outflow of preganglionic fibers in the cervical region of the spinal cord. The outflow from the central nervous system is from the region from T1 to L2. So sympathetic fibers that are destined for the cervical region, they have to ascend from the upper thoracic segments through the sympathetic trunk. And those that are destined for the lumbar and sacral regions, they have to descend from lower thoracic and upper lumbar segments into the sympathetic trunk. So option D is correct. Let's check option E, parasympathetic fibers to the lung. The source of these parasympathetic fibers is derived from the vagus nerve, and the vagus nerve is the 10th cranial nerve. It is not a spinal nerve, it's the 10th cranial nerve and supplies parasympathetic fibers. In the region of the thorax, it supplies parasympathetic fibers to the lung, to the heart, to the esophagus, and then it continues to supply parasympathetic fibers to the abdominal viscera. So the lateral horn of spinal cord at segment level T1 supplies efferent fibers to the skin of the cheek.